The Platypus. On a warm spring day, a little platypus hatched from his cozy egg. The world was loud. He heard cows mooing, sheep bleating, and the peep 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 of newborn ducklings as they stumbled out of their eggs. The little platypus looked down at himself. He came out of an egg just like the ducklings. That was the same. They both had bills. That was the same too. But the ducklings had feathers, and he had fur. The platypus was different. This isn't my family, he thought. I need to find others like me. So he set out to do just that. First, he saw a river and two beavers hurrying about, building a home out of sticks. The platypus was brown, and the beavers were brown. That was the same, and the beavers had big, flat tails, just like he did. But the beavers had teeth, and he did not. The platypus was different. Down the river, otters played and splashed. They floated on their backs, eating clams. The platypus swam out to meet them. I've never seen anything like you, an otter said. You're a very good swimmer, just like us. And your feet look like ours. The otter and the platypus put their feet together. They were both webbed and sharp. But the otter's face had a round nose and whiskers that tickled and twitched when he talked. The platypus was different. The platypus traveled around the world looking for his family. He made many friends along the way. A few animals were like him in some ways, but none were completely the same. The platypus felt lonely, and he was ready to give up on his search. He sat down near a stream. Then he heard a splash. He saw brown, furry animals dashing in and out of the water. They had tails like beavers, bills like ducks, and feet like otters. They were just like him, the same in every way. He dove into the stream with the rest of his platypus family. He finally felt at home.